Hello everyone. Um, this is Sherry from Sherry's Painting. Um, we are doing a watercolor journal entry today. And I just, um, I found a flicker feather yesterday. And if you look at this feather, it's so pretty. Um, these birds are bright, uh, colorful, and really a symbol of um, things will be going well or better for you in the coming months. So um, it's like a TSN turning point. Um, so I really wanted to share this with you because um, this guy needs a place in my in my watercolor journal. So I'm I'm just gonna explain. Um, what I'm using and um, and I hope you guys will follow along with me. So what you'll need for this project um, is you will need um, a some sort of a mixed media um, book that you can use watercolor in um, or acrylic or whatever it is you decide you're going to do your journal entry in. I like these because they hold quite a few pages and um, they they hold the water really well. So these are great. You can get these, um, you know, at, at your local craft store like Michael's or Amazon or um, anything like that. So I'll leave a link for you uh, for, for this in the description. And then um, I've also drawn out uh, a little a picture of this bird um, and I, I'll actually leave that in the description as well so that you can you know if you need to you can um, trace it or just use it for reference. I got the picture of the uh, flicker which is what we're painting today uh, from um, a royalty free site uh, Pixabay and I did find this flicker feather the other day and that's what inspired me to do this journal entry. So you can actually um, you know use that to to use as reference or you could try and draw it. I'm going to briefly describe how I drew this um, but I'm also going to let you know what you need for this project. So I have um, these are Derwent watercolor paints, okay? And again, I'll leave a link uh, for those. I, I got these uh, at Michael's as well um, here in Canada. And, um, but you can also get these on Amazon. So I'll leave links for that. Um, I am using a couple of different brushes. The one I got from Michaels, it is a number five artist loft brush. Um, I can sort of hold this up. I have a gimped up hand right now, so, but it's a number five uh, watercolor brush. I also have a number, a round um, number two brush. It is a uh, Fabricado. So I love this brush. It covers a lot and this is one of my favorites and it's got a long handle so you can be a little bit freer on what you're uh, painting. The trick to this guys is to be free and quick with what you're doing, okay? So I um, also have uh, some uh, two jars of water, one as a clean jar and one as a fresh water jar. And I also have a sharpener here, just in case um, we need to sharpen some of those pencils and a pencil as well for drawing and also some paper towel if you need to um, wipe your brush up a little bit, which we will need to do. Um, so I, oh, and I also have this Artist Loft flat, okay? It, I think it's a half a half inch flat brush, which uh, I might use for a bit of the edges on the painting as well. So again, I got that at Michael's. I'll leave the link for that um, in the description as well. 
So um, I just wanted to start by saying you can draw this if you want freehand. And the way I draw the birds is, um, first of all, I've got the image up on my... Um, um, on my um, iPad from Pixabay, but I also, um, what I normally do is I'll draw a circle for the head, okay, like this, and then I'll draw an egg shape for the bottom, and the, um, the pointiest piece being toward the tail, and then I sort of um, just draw them you know, connect them together and then erase the lines. Um, so like I said, if you would like to download this image, you can, um, and, and then, you know, we can go from there, but you know, the, this kind of thing does not need to be perfect. This is your journal. So you can sort of do whatever you like. It gives you the license to do whatever you like in here. So that's where we're going to start. Um, the colors that I'm going to use for this project, I normally do this as I go along. I'm just going to pull up that image again so that I can look at it as we draw it. If I can get my iPad to work. Okay, so I got my iPad up and running and um, I'm just going to, you know, you might see my arm go across the screen here. Um, because I, I need to click it every now and again to keep it open. But um, so I think without further ado, we're just going to start. So uh, with this photo, I think we're going to do, or sorry, with the, with the painting, what I want to do is I want to put um, that feather just above his head, okay? The feather that I found, this one. So we're gonna do that, but I wanna get a bit of a background. And normally when I do my um, journal entries, I don't do a full page, um, but this one's actually come out quite large. I still won't do the full page on it, but I just wanna show you how the process of how we're gonna get this little guy together. So, what we're going to do is we are going to start, um, I think with a, with a Kingfisher blue, um, which is in this watercolor set. Um, I love these pencils, you guys, they're so fun because you just color. That's what you do. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to dip my brush in some water and then I'm going to paint right from the end of the pencil, okay? And I'm just gonna add that in here. I'm gonna try and do that a little darker so you can see, cause you might not be able to see that very well. But I'm just gonna dip in the pencil and, or on the end of the pencil, and then we're just gonna go around that feather, okay, for now. Just so we have a little bit of background in here um, for this little guy. Flickers are amazing bird. They're they're if you if you spill like I just did, just gently rub that out. Um, they are ground feeders. Okay, so it's not very often that you'll see them in the tree. Um, however, I was blessed to see one sitting in my tree. I heard him for for years bef before I saw him actually in my tree. So. Um, so just go around the images that we've drawn, okay? And you can put light spots, dark spots, whatever you want. We don't want to go too much in the, um, too much in the, um, over the lines right now because we're going to color him in with those watercolor pencils. So just to get a little bit of, of color around him so that we know he's actually, you know, sitting on a branch. Um, so we're just gonna do that for a minute. And I'm sorry, I apologize if I'm not, you know, um, this is kind of new to me, the, the YouTube thing, but I really just wanted to share this with everyone because it really has been a, a healing, um, a healing thing for me. I've journaled for years, but, and I have done, um, I have done drawings in my journal, but never before have I um, decided to put them to life until this past April. I really wanted to, you know, add something extra to my to my journal entries. So 
I, I just decided that that this was the way I was going to do it. And then once I did it, I, I want, I just wanted to share it all with you because anyone can do this folks. Um, anyone can do this. And, um, if it makes you feel good, then that's all that counts. So I've been dealing with a, um, severely broken wrist for the last couple of months. Fortunately for me, it was on my left arm and not my right. Um, so it's been a bit of a, it's been a bit of a struggle. I don't know if any of you guys have had that kind of injury before, but I had to have surgery and get hardware put in to put it and hold it together. So it's been a bit of a challenge and I'm trying to find things to keep me busy just to, you know, um, so that I don't go crazy, I guess. So anyway, okay. So we're just about done this part. Um, and again, if, if you decide you want to lift some of that color out, you can. You just use a bit of paper towel and go around it and um, and lift out a little bit. But I think I think that looks pretty good just the way it is. I'm going to add some at the bottom as well. So this is really easy, guys, because there's no rhyme nor reason to this. It's just you know um, adding a little bit of color and you know, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go over this with, I guess this would be more of an ink wash drawing. So we're going to just add a little bit um, of color here and there for the background. And then we're just going to go ahead and, and do the rest of the picture. So, so here we go. Just going to keep doing that until I feel like I've got it in there good enough. And I, I just want to go around them. I don't want to cover that whole page. And I want it to be kind of lighter toward the bottom. And then at, at the after we've got him all done, oops, I got a little something something in there. Not sure what that is, but I'm going to lift that out if I can. I think they're my eraser marks. Anyway, there we go. So I'm just going to continue on with that until we've got that filled in. And then we're going to color. So there we go. We're all good here. And I'll just go around in there a little bit more. And I, I think that'll pretty much do it for the background. So you notice how in here it's, you know, darker in some spots, lighter in the others. The feather here is going to be fairly dark. So it's going to look like that. So, um, or as close as we can get to that. And then um, I think I'm going to add a little more color down here too just because I feel like it needs to be a bit darker in there too. So I hope you guys are able to see this really well. There we go. Okay, so this is our journal entry. And it's fun. The other thing I'm going to mention too is when you just sort of go about this in a haphazard way, um, what happens is you, you may end up finding your, you get pictures inside your inside your blue, inside your clouds that are kind of cool. You can look at those after as well. That's what I do. I'm kind of freaky that way, but it's kind of fun. So now just dry off your, your brush for a second, because what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and we're going to color. Okay. Oops. And my machine went off again. So I'm just going to go back in here. There we go. Okay. So with this type of bird, I think we're going to start with that feather first. And if you look at this feather, it's really super orange in the center. And that's what I love about these birds are so cool. So we're going to go and we're going to find the orange color. And I may have to sharpen a little bit, guys. Sorry about that. But it is what it is. So just go and sharpen that up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to do that orange piece, okay, that's down the center. So let's do that first. Just got to move this around a little bit. And I still want you guys to be able to see. Because it's really super bright orange in here. And it tapers off toward the end. So we're going to just color. That's what's nice about these crayons. You know, I had these watercolor pencils hanging around my house for six years before I decided that I should use them. So 
Now I'm using them and I'm loving them. Okay, and then the next thing about our feather is we've got kind of that brownish color in there. The, the parts that are in here, we're just gonna leave white, um, but this has kind of got a brownish gray in, in there. So we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna grab, um, I think I'm going to use uh, my copper beach color, which is this color here. And I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna fill it in and I'm just gonna stroke it like this. I'm gonna not go in that, around that white part because that's the part um, that we're gonna leave white. So I'm just gonna go and fill this in with that brown color. And it's a fairly dark too, so it's fairly dark. So we wanna leave it in that dark color like this. And then again, over on the other side, it's pretty dark in the other side. So we'll do that part as well. And we want it quite dark there. And that orange, I don't even think we're gonna use, color, we're not even gonna use a brush on that. But I think, I'm just gonna look at that feather again, and it's dark all the way to the end there. So we'll just do that, just like that, okay? So there we have our little feather. Now what we're gonna do, I have a Sharpie pen here too, just um, to let you guys know. We will be using that as well. Sorry, I should have mentioned that in the beginning, but we will be using that as well. So for now though, I'm gonna grab my, um, my little round brush here, okay? And we're just gonna dip it in some water. So that was Copper Beach that we used. I'm just gonna dip my brush in some water. And the great thing is with these guys is that as soon as you dip that brush into water, it activates these watercolor pencils. They are so amazing. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white there, um, but they're so amazing. And you, you know, you just sort of follow your follow your lines. We might add a little bit of gray on that too, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. There we go, because that copper beach has a little bit of orange color in it too, which, you know, this bird, this bird has. Like it's, it's, I might actually do that. I might go in there and just make a few extra little, a little, sh little shapes in there. And then all the way to the bottom there, and you know, you might wanna add a little bit of shadow here as well. So go in there again and I'm gonna do the other side and this side's gonna be quite dark here. So I'm just gonna run my paintbrush all the way down there and then we're gonna, you know, go inside there and then we're gonna draw the rest of that with the pencil, but we're, or with the, um, with the, um, Sharpie pen. So we're going to leave that as it is for now. So there's our feather almost already done. Okay. And now we're going to look at that flicker. I'm just going to look at the picture here for a minute. And I really got to turn this, um, this iPad on to staying on all the time. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna color in the top of his head. And the top of his head is kind of a golden brown, but it's really light, okay? So that's this area, and it's, he's almost got a band that comes over here, and then through the eye here, or to the eye. So this is sort of gonna be the top of his head. And we're gonna go down to the beak there like that. Okay, and we're gonna do his little eye. That'll be the last thing we do. So there's that part. Now, flickers have really bright markings. So um, actually the marking that's right in here is really red. So here I'm gonna use a deep vermilion and I'm gonna go in there and we're gonna just color that part in because he's usually got this little patch that's below him that's got that deep, deep red. 
And then I'm going to use um, uh, the gray. So I believe it is a, it's almost like a blue gray. It is a blue gray. Um, and we're gonna go and we're gonna color this part in here. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna use my gunmetal gray instead or a little bit of both. So this is gunmetal gray. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna color this part in and I'm gonna do it lightly first. So this part here, he's a, a little bit twisted this way. So I'm just gonna sort of indicate that with the, with the lines there. He's a little darker at the top in here and then he gets lighter as we go. Okay, so there we go. We have his um, his light feathers all in there. In here are his other little feathers. We're gonna go down there, make those a little darker and a little more prominent. And we're gonna do, they, the flickers all have this thing on their chest. And I, the one I saw actually was shaped like a heart, which was really kind of cool. So I'm just gonna go in here and we're going to color that in just a really light gray in here, like that, all the way down to the line down here, okay? There we go. And down in here as well. Now his tail feathers are really, they're really orange. They're the color of that orange up in there. So I will be going back to our orange chrome and I'm gonna be coloring those in here. So I'm gonna go in here and it's gonna be fairly dark in here. Or I'm gonna press fairly hard here and we will be doing a shadow in here as well. Um, you know, just to indicate some sort of shadows that he may have. Go quite dark in there. And then this piece down here is quite a bit darker. So I'll leave the link for the image that I'm using as well on Pixabay. So you guys can use that for reference if you want. Um, but I just, you know, I just hope that you guys end up liking this. That's my big thing. So with flickers, so what we're going to do is we're going to fill that in now. Um, so I'm going to go back to my little round brush here and dip it in some water. And you don't want it saturated. You just want a tiny bit of water just to activate those colors. And you kind of want to go in the direction of, of, it's almost like fur, but you kind of want to just go in, in, in that sort of direction. And, and we will add a little bit more. He's got a little bit of highlight here. So I might actually put my finger in there a bit just to add that little bit of light spot there for his highlight like that. And you know, I, I'm not one for really staying in the line. So I'm just gonna let you all know that now. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fill in the gray part now. It's a little darker and it's definitely kind of uh, distinctive. But again, we want this nice and light to begin with. So we're just gonna go carry that on here. Just do the light for now. And then he, he's a little darker under his chin for the shadow and up in here, okay. And we're gonna go down to that little half moon thing that we have drawn there. Get a little bit more water there just to fill this piece in like that, because we're gonna be adding kind of some black dots in there, because try not to hit the feet. Um, we're gonna add some black dots in there because that's what flickers have. They have these cool black dots on them. So we're gonna be doing that too. There we go. Okay, so that part's done. Um, I'm gonna go in then and I'm gonna highlight the little red piece that we have here. Again, these colors are very vibrant in here and and later and on the tail as well. Later on, what we may do is um, actually go and dip those crayons right into the water because that just gives the ultimate in vibrancy on these babies. So there we go. We got that all figured out. So now what we're going to do is we are going to turn on this silly thing again. There we go, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna fill in 
Flickers have like little dots everywhere on their chest. So I'm going to use, uh, I think I'm going to use um, that blue gray for this because it can, it can go quite dark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip that right into the water. So if you can't see what I'm doing, I'm taking the pencil and I'm dipping it right into the water. I'm going to move this jar over a sec so I can show you. So what I do is I take it and I dip it right into that water and then put it off a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go and we're gonna make these little dots because that's what these flickers have on them. They're like little tiny little dots everywhere just to give the indication of, um, I'll do it again, I'm gonna dip my pencil in the water and they're just gonna go and they go all around, all around his breast here. So just like that. And it goes all the way down his feathers, like this, like that. This might be a little darker in here, so I'm gonna put a little bit of gray high, um, shading in there as well. And they go all the way down and and they're just in a haphazard direction and area. So don't, you know, worry too much about uni being too uniform here. You want this to be more, more free looking, okay? So just wherever you feel like you need to put these. So this bird is called a red shafted flicker, just to let you all know. Um, and they're so cool and they have a great sound to them. And um, I'm just going to add a little more shadow in here, I think, while that brush, while the pencil's wet. And they just, they're really cool little birds. So there we go. And we're going to add a little shadow under here, just where his wing comes under there. And then we might even give a little bit of orange in there too. And then down here, we're going to use this color because we're gonna use shadow on the end of his, um, on the end of his tail feathers here. Little shadow there. So there we go, that's pretty good. Little shadow in here, because he's under that branch. So this will be our shadow color. And then a little shadow in here as well. And just really lightly, you guys. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here because this is really dark in here and it's kind of like, it's like a little half moon but shaped like feathers. So just like that and they kind of, you know, they're like little tufts of feathers like that. So that's how we're going to try and make that look. We're going to come in here, we're going to do his eye like that. And then we're also gonna do his beak, but we'll wait for just a second. The feet I'm gonna leave alone because the feet are kind of white. The legs on the feet are kind of white. So I'm gonna leave that alone. For now, we're gonna go get that brush again. Whoops, wrong brush. And we're gonna just dip it in the water again. And then just add a little touch of water to these. And then it almost gives like a little shadow underneath. No one says you have to um, you can leave it with just the dots if you want, but I feel like I need to add a little bit of, of something there with the shadowing. So we're going to do that. And we're going to come in here and I'm just going to add that shadow under here just so we get an idea just around the edge there and underneath here because he is quite dark in here. So he's got that shadow of the branch underneath there. So just like that. And I'm gonna add that one too for his tail feather. There we go. That one in there. And then we're gonna add that shadow down in there too. So there we go. And just, you know, you can just do this in a free way, you guys. and. You know, it, it, it'll turn out lovely. I'm going to add a little more shadow there. Just like that. Okay. In there. And just make it. And then we're just going to go in this area. And then I'm just going to sort of 
carry it like a banana. Okay, so this is gonna look like a bit of a banana here. There we go. Okay, so now we've got that spot on there, like that. And I'm gonna add a little more shadow here, just so that he's got his head kind of turning in that direction. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the beak, okay? So for the beak, um, I think I'm going to use the gunmetal on that one. So gunmetal, this color here. And rather than the blue-gray, I think we're going to use the gunmetal there. And I'm just going to do my picture again here. There we go. Okay, and so on his beak, it's pretty dark up in here, okay, but light. And this part comes all the way down his bill like that. So that's almost enough right there. Um, I'm going to use my paintbrush because I don't want it to be, you know, I don't want it to be really super dark. I just want it to, ha to but to have the proper shape because we're going to go over this again with the, with the Sharpie. So you get an idea of, you know, um, of that. I may add a little bit in here just on the feet a tiny bit, but nothing more than that. For the for the branch, um, I think, I feel like we're gonna use um, that brown again, which was the copper brown, okay? Just to sort of bring that in together. So I'm gonna go, and it's gonna be quite dark underneath here. And then that's where we're going to go from. So I'm just going to take it to his feet, just under here, and then just over here a little bit. And then that's it. That's that's all we're going to do. We may have something that comes off here, maybe like that, and maybe one up here too. There we go. Okay. And then what you're so it's pretty simple. Just be really free, you guys. It's pretty simple to. To do that, I'm gonna take my brush again and dip it in some water, and then I'm just gonna go over this with that. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. The darkness is toward the bottom, which is what we want. We wanna bring it more light toward the top. You may wanna dip in a little bit just to make it, if you kinda of make it look a little rounder here, but just make sure that the darkness is toward the bottom. And then we're gonna go up here. We'll paint that a little bit. That just follow it with your with your brush, and just like that. Okay. So then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take that orange color, which was orange chrome, and I'm gonna dip it directly in the water. So just a little bit, and then I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna darken this up because that is going to bring out those tail feathers. I might go right along here, make it really dark. And then again, at the top there, right here, just make it really super dark. And then again, I'm going to go over that feather again in there because I want it to be super bright too, okay? So that is about it for that part. So we're gonna let that dry now completely, and then we're gonna go over it with the pen. So, um, so I'm just gonna let that dry. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's a bit dry. Okay guys, so <clears throat> it's dry. I let it dry for about 10 minutes. And now we're gonna use the Sharpie, the permanent marker. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna outline some of this stuff. So the first thing I wanna outline is the feather, okay? And with the feather, if we look at it, it's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty perfect feather, and um, which is really, truly amazing. Um, so we want, we, we kinda of wanna follow the direction that we have. So we're gonna come up and we're just gonna follow our lines and we may have little breaks in there too, just like that. And we're gonna follow that all the way up here and go around and it's kind of got sort of a, a square shape to it. So we're just gonna follow that all the way down. 
like that and then just leave a little end on there i'm going to go in the center here i hope this doesn't just to add a little bit on there just to so we can really see that inner portion of that feather just like that and then i'm going to go around here too um just to highlight that i guess we're kind of highlighting with our with our um pen pencil or sorry sharpie so and it's just like that so now we have our flicker feather that's pretty darn good i like it a lot and we're gonna do the head as well and here we're just gonna i'm gonna make him a little ruffled here and then just follow again our along with our diagram or our pencil marks just like that same with the beak the beak comes out here and there so just follow like that and then he's got that part in there that goes now in here the eye i'm just gonna sort of do his eye a little darker i'm not gonna highlight in there but i am gonna go around in this area because and and again we want this to look like his feathers i might add a few in here just to just for a little bit of accentuation on that black part and then a few around in here too just to add a little shadow to the bottom okay this part i'm gonna i'm gonna circle that part as well because i feel like it's really prominent on these birds i'm going to separate that flight wing in there and then we're going to continue that all the way down here like this and don't worry if you if you're going outside the lines you just um because I mean, this is, you know, this is just something you have to get used to just to try and be a little bit freer in your work. Okay. So I'll just add a few more little highlights here and there or low lights, I guess you'd call them underneath. Just like that, just to give it a little bit more dimension. And then I might even add a little bit of a highlight there just so that it shows you the direction he's looking in the little feet i'm just gonna go like this like that and then make a little claw there and then a few little marks there and there and his leg comes up around in there and again here and just to give his leg feet a little bit more prominence there and then what we're going to do is we're going to highlight that branch or add pen to that branch underneath. There we go. And maybe even the top here or in the bottom here, just so that we have a little bit of outline there and there and underneath as well as underneath here, here and here. Okay, so pretty simple little project. Um, and again, you can trace the image and then I'm going to date it. So today is, well, first of all, I'm going to sign it. So I'm going to sign it right here. And please don't forget to sign your work, you guys. It's really super important. I'm going to sign it there. I'm going to date it. August 26th, 21. And, you know, the message I get with this little guy is that everything's going to be all right. So um, I'm I'm just, if you're going through a hard time, I, I just feel like, you know, with my wrist and everything, it's been a bit of a challenge for me the last couple of months. And when I found that feather, it was just the, the message I got was everything is going to be all right. So I'm going to write that in here everything is going to be to be all right i am gonna draw a little heart because i always like doing my little hearts i am going to take my vermilion color which is this one here deep vermilion i'm gonna dip it in some water and i'm gonna color in my little heart 
with some water and there you have it folks there is your journal entry for the day don't feel like you have to do exactly like mine maybe you'll find a picture of a flicker you know on pixabay that that you like better but for me this is how i how i felt about it this is what i love and um this is this is how it is for today so with that i hope you guys like this if you do please like and share and subscribe and have yourselves a fantastic outstanding day it's been fun okay bye everyone